Hello friends, welcome to brand new tutorial of Learn Code with Sankal. In today's tutorial, we have discussed about loops and array in TypeScript. In previous tutorial, we have discussed about data types in TypeScript. So, watch this video till end so you can understand the concept of loops and array in TypeScript. Okay, and if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press bell icon so you can upgrade the upcoming videos. Okay, so uh, for better understanding, I have created one slideshow. So, let's open the slideshow. Uh, loop scenario in TypeScript open with Chrome okay and we have open in present mode okay uh, we have discussing about TypeScript loops and array okay firstly we have discussed about for loop for loop is basically we have getting the uh, means we have printing the 0 to 5 numbers then we have to uh, printing like i is equal to 0 then checking the condition i is less than 5 and i plus plus and then it will be i will be printing this is we have a very simple for loop guys this is printing the 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay this is very simple for loop guys uh, then secondly we have to for loop uh, for array okay we have defining reviews of array then we have depending in the uh, the data, data type is a number and we have uh, defining some uh, reviews then we have to defining the length uh, by uh, respect to rate we have defining the uh, means printing the reviews okay then we have to <coughs> printing reviews of array this is the very uh, most commonly used in the project inside the project we have looping the array it's very important guys then we have to discuss firstly we have declared array and index of that array third we will be we have to uh, we made, uh, making some mass operation in the in that array then we have to average number then we have to firstly iterating the uh, length iterating the first length and then we have to total uh, reviews of array and means uh, total plus equal to reviews means uh, that means total is equal to total plus reviews okay this is the uh, mathematical math symbol guys plus equal to means total plus reviews okay then we have to uh, defining the average due to we have we have to uh, total uh, total upon reviews dot length okay this is the uh, formula guys for taking the average guys so we have console dot log average this is the very max function guys that that we have to uh, uh, doing the practical example third will be we have to that uh, we have to string of arrays then we have to same functioning like that we have to printing the strings of array inside the loop okay firstly we have defining the length and length is less than i then we have to plus plus and it will be length is greater than i then we have to break that loop and we have to console this all this statement okay and third will be that simplified for loop this is the for each loop inside java we have know that for each loop this is the in type street we have to uh, saying that simplified the for loop okay inside simplified for loop we have to taking the <coughs> sport one and we have to temp sport one and then we have to printing that spent tool this is very easy guys this is not any uh, logic uh, inside that we have to let keyword and we have to let keyword of that that iterating the one by one means we have to sport one we have golf and we have to it will be taking as a temp sport and then, then it will be cricket then it will be tennis it will be uh, for each loop guys and uh, then second will be that we have inside the for each loop we have to uh, getting the uh, getting the statement or conditions okay then we have to uh, temp cricket our, our temp cricket will be cricket then it is my favorite cricket 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 this is the condition guys okay uh, then last thing will be that growable array means we have defining the array then we have to pushing that uh, pushing that another index means we have to 0 1 2 then three index we have pushing the baseball it, at fourth index we have pushing the football this is the growable array and we have to printing that array this is known, known as a growable array okay uh, this is in them guys then we have to go into the practical example guys uh, so we are opening the our uh, new condition okay and here we can open creating new folder like loops array and this is our for tutorial guys okay then we have to open this folder inside VS code okay we have opening that folder guys then we have to open the uh, creating one new file okay then we have to creating new file like 0 3 loops loops and 
array okay uh, we have depending this is a folder okay guys okay this is where depending as a folder okay inside that folder we have defining one new file like loops dot dot ts okay inside that we have defining the one for loop okay guys then we have to for loop it is be simple i is equal to 0 i is less than 5 i plus plus okay then we have to console dot log of i okay we have defined missing the let keyword then we have to define here zero okay uh, this is simply for loop guys for running that we have going to terminal window we are opening the new terminal inside new terminal we are defining like we have here then we have to going to the here okay we have ls here we have one file then we have to command like tsc loops dot ts okay uh, it will be creating our converting the our TypeScript file to the JavaScript file. It is compiling, guys. Okay, it's compiled, guys. We have to demand in ls. We have creating one new JavaScript file. Then we have to run that JavaScript file. Then we have to node loops dot js. Okay, we have getting the output of zero one two three four four five. Okay. Uh, then we have to uh, defining some another uh, functions like we have uh, arrays we have iterating the arrays then we have here we can create one new file like reviews dot ts okay inside reviews dot ts we have closing all these things inside reviews dot ts we have defining one array okay then let reviews number five seven four point five one point three one point four okay and we have uh, iterating that uh, array for that simple we have using the for loop okay then let i is equal to 0 and uh, i is less than reviews dot length and i plus plus okay then console dot log reviews of i okay okay then we have to run this R running that reviews.ts file tsc dot ts okay then we have to compiling that file and see what's happen Okay, our uh, revision JS file is uh, created, guys. Then we have to run this file. Node reviews which dot JS. Okay, our printing the uh, all this array element. Okay, then our requirement will be that we have to taking the average of that uh, all this all these reviews. Okay, then we have to adding the concept like uh, we are adding one uh, concept like uh, 
let total number is equal to 0 okay and then we have to Uh, that will be the outside the loop okay and here we can writing the uh, writing the total total plus equal to reviews dot i okay we have comment that line okay then we have taking the average of that okay then uh, we have to let average is equal to number is equal to total comma reviews dot length okay and then we have consult the log like average okay our code is completed guys uh, then here we can taking the zero okay uh, we have basically firstly taking the total of that uh, total means the here will have total is equal to total plus reviews and then we have to define the formula of total uh, upon reviews dot length then we have getting the length okay then we have to run this code and see what's happen first we have to compile this after compiling We have run this code. Okay, average is 4.4475. We are getting the average of that uh, reviews. Okay, <coughs> then third we have to uh, defining one more file like sports.ts. Okay, sports.ts. Then we have to I like let sport one string golf cricket tennis swimming okay uh, then we have to uh, iterating the sports okay same like our reviews for let i is equal to 0 i is less than sport 1 dot length I plus plus console dot log sport one of I okay uh, then we have to run this TSC POR sports dot TS okay This is running uh, compiling, guys. Okay, then we have to run this. JS. Okay, we have returning in the sports. Okay, same thing will we have we have doing by using by using for loop. Okay, then we have to committing this 
same thing we have doing in the for loop by using for a switch loop okay then we have using the for loop for let tem sport of sport1 and here we can do console dot log tem sport okay and we have to same we have to run this then compile this and run this okay we have getting the same output but here you can give in the condition okay uh, here you can give in the condition like if if uh, temp sport is equal to c r i c k e t cricket okay then we have to console dot log log temp sport right cricket okay okay and uh, else segment we have printing the all this port okay then we have to run this tsc dot sport dot ts Okay, then we have to note this. Our cricket will be favorite sport. It will be printing as a, as accepted. Okay, uh, then th third will be we have to growable array. Okay, uh, then we have to creating one new file like growable array dot ts. Okay, here you can define the one growable array. Okay, uh, then we have to let uh, we have sport one one is equal to string golf C R I C K E T cricket T tennis okay and then after that we have to uh, adding some an another limit and we have to 0 1 2 3 we are adding the fourth element the fourth element inside the array and we have to using the push method okay then uh, sport sport one dot push okay we are adding the baseball Okay, then we have to add one, one more sport. Then we have to sport one dot push. And we have adding the football. Okay, uh, then we have to using the for loop, we have iterating that loop. Okay, then for let tame sport sport of sport one. And then we have to console dot log. console dot lock dot temp sport okay then we have to printing this then we have to uh, running like growable dot ts tsc okay 
Crowable array dot ts. It is compiling, guys. Okay, then we have to node growable array dot js. Okay, we have printing the all these things. We have printing goal, cricket, and tennis. But slash will be baseball and football is also printing. We have adding the push by using push method. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope you have understand the concept of for loop and uh, for each loop and uh, iterating the array and giving the condition of array like that. All these things in the TypeScript language. Uh, if you like my video, then please subscribe my channel and press bell icon. Uh, and thank you, guys. Bye.